are on the edge of Finn Creek. Uh, it runs into the, the tributary of the McKinsey River. But yeah, we raise, we're raising pigs right now. And we've had horses and we've got chickens and all sorts of critters running around. When the fire happened, we had um, three young pigs here. And when we evacuated, because it was last second, is we just turned them loose. I wasn't quite sure what else to do with them. About a day later, we actually got to come back. We knew we'd lost our place later in the day that we evacuated because we came back to get our horses. We started, have people were having videos and sightings of the pigs um, roaming the neighborhood. <laughs> so we knew they'd survived. And it was about three weeks after the fire that somebody finally, they took them to Lane County and then we finally were able to get them back. But yeah, they're, they're survivalists. They had their, some of the uh, hairs on their snouts were burnt a little bit. But other than that, they, they foraged around and, and fended for themselves. They came all the way up through here and we've got uh, cedar trees and uh, flowering quince, I think it is. There's Oregon grape. There's about five or six different things that I know of. And so they know what species, what grows best in this area and what things will take off the quickest and give us the quickest cover, which will help the fish and everything along this creek. I mean, it's a, it's a great program for um, getting different stuff, natural stuff that'll grow in this part of the country. Um, I, it's a win-win situation. People are excited. Um, we've been finally starting to get things happening on the ground at a lot of the properties we're working with. We've been doing a lot of fuels reduction work. Um, and now that plants are going in, I think that's a really exciting thing for people to see. And a lot of people um, are actually, the people who have had homes rebuilt are starting to move in. So I think we're starting to get more residents living back up river, which is really nice. Even though things are busy with planting season, people should still definitely sign up and get some of that pre-planting work done for the following year. Um, and then there's a lot of fuels reduction work that can be done. Um, and with that, we're coordinating the free firewood program where um, burned logs that are being hauled off of these properties we're working with for fuels reduction is being um, cut and split by Solidoc and Brinks Land Improvement. And then we're dispersing that wood to members of the community in need. So there's a lot happening that people can get in on if they sign up. Uh, <laughs> you guys are awesome. <laughs> I've lived here on this property for uh, 35 years. And so we've done a lot of work to try and, and keep the creek protected. The watershed, I mean, it's, it's what feeds the McKinsey. And so anything we can do to keep this creek clean and covered and cold is gonna you know, benefit everybody along the line. <laughs>